my most favorite part of summer, which is growing things. You know, I have seven kids. I like growing children. I also like growing plants. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today we just spent the last uh, probably an hour and a half to two hours swimming in our pond and just really trying to soak up every bit of summer sun that we can right now. I can't turn the camera on him because he likes to get naked and anyways, <laughs> while he gets uh, changed up, uh, I thought that I would just take a little walk around our yard and show you um, probably my most favorite part of summer, which is growing things. For so many years, I would always buy um, all of these pre-potted giant hanging baskets to put around and you know, they can get really expensive. Uh, I probably at that time was only getting like four or five just because they were so expensive and I had lots, whoa, and I had lots of little, little kids and so it was kind of hard to, to keep, to take care of them because I just didn't have it all together. Over the last number of years now, I still get a few of these hanging pot, hanging baskets. This year I think I got three for Mother's Day. What I find has worked so great is I just save all my old pots. Whoop, Maria, you're in my, you're making shade here. I save all my pots from the years before, and then I just buy bedding plants, like four packs this year. I was able to find them four packs for a buck 19. The key to getting these to really fill out and, um, you know, just look beautiful, beautiful is to keep them well watered and then also to use fertilizer. Fertilizer is something that for a lot of years I didn't use or if I did try to if I did use it I would just use like a triple 13, which was what we use on the cranberries I would just go and get a scoop of that um, And it would just burn the plants basically because I just didn't know what I was doing and then I discovered I think from our feed and seed uh, store uh, Sarah there showed me this um, fertilizer called Tiger Bloom and that is what I'm using now. I can't show it to you um, unfortunately because I just placed my order for this year today. I This year I went ahead and got a whole gallon which is about $43. So it is kind of pricey but that gallon is going to last me this whole entire year. I'll even be able to fertilize into October with a gallon so about 43 bucks for the whole the whole growing season here in wisconsin tiger bloom is really really easy to use i save gallon milk jugs and then i put about one to two capfuls per gallon milk jug of water so that's what i do for growing really really beautiful flowers i don't get those gorgeous pots right off the bat but that's really part of the fun for me it what I found over the years here is I actually enjoy watching my plants grow and watching them, just watching them become something more than what they started out with, better than I actually uh, like just starting out with all giant beautiful flowers. Those are fun and they're beautiful and they really add a lot of color at the beginning, but I do like starting like this. So I'm just gonna show you, when I'm picking out these bedding plants, I usually just try to get about two thirds for sunny locations and another third for shady locations. I make some pots up and the kids make pots up and we just tuck flowers in. This is early here so you know obviously they're not that full and I haven't even had a chance to fertilize. These have only been in the ground or in the pots since I think since Saturday so not even a whole week and they're already twice as big as when I first started. We're wondering what time it is. Uh, I think it's about 315. Okay. Okay. No, nope, BMX is later. I got some dianthus and some vincas in here. In this pot, I have a verbena and mixed it with some dianthus, even a petunia and some zinnias. Up here, I also have a salvia here. These are called Mama, peaches and cream. Up. Okay. Could you go somewhere else? Sorry. These marigolds are called peaches and cream, and today it's mainly all yellow ones that are blooming. But just yesterday, they were so peachy, almost like a strawberry, I don't know, they were just so pretty. This is a filler green. Um, I can't remember what it was called. I just thought it was kind of fun. And then lots of petunias again. Uh, in the corner of our patio, I have just a bunch of shade flowers. I have some Dusty Miller 
and I can't remember what this purple one is called. I have some impatience here. And, and then this is an apple blossom petunia. It's my new absolute favorite uh, annual this year. When we get to one of the other ones where it's blooming, I'll show you, it's just so pretty. That watering can I think was a garage sale find from probably 20 years ago or so. One of my favorite things to do if you like cherry tomatoes is to pot up cherry tomatoes in a big pot on your patio. So what I love to do is have the cherry tomatoes with my eggs in the morning and so it's so fun to just step out on the patio. It just makes me feel like, like I'm in such a southern climate when I get to do that. Just uh, step out on the patio, pick some cherry tomatoes for breakfast. One of the things that I do too here in order to get a little height with some of my flowers because those wrought iron planter stands and things can get kind of expensive. I just save my old pots again and I'll just take like a matching set, turn one upside down you can see and then set the other one up on top of it. It just gives it a nice little height. Uh, again, just a garage sale find from probably 20 years ago or so. I have for the very first time purchased Spike, I think it's called. I remember my neighbor always having these uh, on the front porch of her house and then she had them surrounded by uh, red geraniums. I saw one when I was at the uh, hardware store so I picked it up and I'm just so happy I did. I think this is going to be just gorgeous when it comes into its own and starts really filling in. And I love these zinnias. Oh, it's called raspberry lemonade mix and they get pinks and yellows and white zinnias. They're so pretty. Oh, here we go. There is the apple blossom petunia. Isn't it just the most beautiful thing you've seen? It kind of likes some shade or just part sun. This here just gets this later afternoon sun like it's getting now and so it's just doing great here. This is called something like firecracker grass. I don't know, I've never had it before so we'll see how that does this year. To be completely real with you all, not all my flowers are doing so well. This was one of the pots that I got um, for Mother's Day and some kind of fungus I think is getting at it. Um, I've had this on one of my plants last year and the year before. It does eventually grow out of it but it really dies back and the flowers are, are all really stunted. The stems will get really really thin uh, and kind of straggly so anyways I just am looking forward to when my fertilizer comes and then I can finally give it some fertilizer and I think it will eventually grow out of it. I love planting. Oh, Sam is on the dirt bike, so you're gonna hear that in the background. I love planting flowers in like old metal containers, as you can kind of see. And this one we found in my in-law's garage or in their shed when we were clearing things out. I think that's where we got it anyways. But, and Warren's always called it a sluice bucket. I'm not exactly sure what that was used for, but I always put petunias in here and then one year I had put moss roses in and they just kind of keep coming up um, on their own and so I don't pull those and usually by August they'll finally be blooming. My favorite uh, bushes here, shrubs, is this English rose. Um, this is usually blooming right about the time of my birthday, which happens to be next week. And you, you can see even with the little bit later start spring we had, things are really catching up with all the 90 degree weather that we've had lately. And this is going to be blooming, um, be in full bloom shortly. Some more flea market finds. I've got this big metal, they called it a egg basket, but that's an awfully giant egg basket, I think. An old cranberry crate with an old mossy clay pot with some more of those peaches and cream marigolds. It's a great way to exercise the virtue of patience, is to work on growing plants. I need to pick out another. <laughs> Don't follow me! Don't follow me! 
What's what's behind your back, sweetie? Flowers. I used to be really picky about the kids picking the flowers in the flower beds, and now I just figure if if they pick them and bring them in for me, I guess I just should feel blessed that I have kids who think about me even when they're not around me. So I don't make such a big deal about it anymore. What is it? Oh, a columbine. Where, where did you get that red flower? Where these were. Uh-huh, right, right up here maybe. And I always love to put geraniums here. It isn't the most prime spot for them because they, I think they do like a little more sun, but I, I like to, around 4th of July, put out like a little, oh, a little um, red, white, and blue swag banner here. Um, and so I just think that looks so pretty at that time of the year.